Right, Bart, where I'm standing here, this is on 31st Street, the north end of 31st Street. All the drainage, or a lot of the drainage from the burn scar that goes through Garden of the Gods and Rockledge Ranch comes out right here and goes down this drainage channel with homes on both sides of it. But about 120 properties are going to be taken out of the floodplain once this plan, this three-phase plan by the city, is finished. It's going to mean a second larger retention basin up by Garden of the Gods, of course, but it also is going to bring relief for many who live and use this area. People in Pleasant Valley have been looking at it for years, the Camp Creek Concrete Drainage Channel. We worry about a lot. It's ugly, decaying, and a flash flooding threat, but the city is planning to replace it. About four years ago, we had floods. I was kind of part of the victims up in Manitou. Um, I've been in floods in Boulder, Colorado. Um, and it's a big situation here, you know, a uh, dangerous situation. Um, anything that could help will help, that's for sure. The city will do erosion and flood control work in Garden of the Gods and Rockledge Ranch to reduce the water coming through this channel. The city says when this phase of the project begins, workers will remove all of the concrete from this Camp Creek drainage ditch and replace it with multi-level natural landscaping. What's more, the bike lane on 31st Street now will be relocated to here, about in the middle of that new configuration. Even people who drive through the area to get to Rockledge Ranch like the idea of a new design for the channel. I think in the long run it'll probably save them money because they won't have to keep redoing it when things wash out again and again. And for the people who live here, slowing the water down is a big plus. Now, the new design for this channel is something that many homeowners asked for during a series of public meetings a couple of years ago. And just a few minutes ago, the city gave us a design, kind of an artist's rendering of what the new design is going to look like. We'll post that later on our website for you at krdo.com. Reporting live in Colorado Springs, 